I did have this with my stepbrother. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and today I see some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one it is absolutely ridiculous. This woman decides to share how she cheated. What's one thing you've never told your ex? That I cheated. You cheated? Yeah. Did he cheat? No. Why you did that? Okay, so I kind of like self-sabotage. Sometimes I think like the guy is doing something and then I do it first or do it while I'm thinking that he's doing it. Why do women do that? Yeah. I don't know. But I don't do that anymore. I'm good. So, so after you cheated, did you find out that he wasn't cheating? You knew he wasn't cheating. <laughs> he just wanted to step out. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. It was? Oh, yeah. This woman is just making a blatant excuse, and to be honest, she just wanted to cheat. And clearly by her not even regretting it, she is most likely to do it again in the future. All this girl is doing is exposing herself and making everybody aware that they should never date her. Here's a list of jobs that men should not do, especially grown men, okay? For one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you, all right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. Now, I absolutely don't care what this woman is saying simply because this woman is a stripper. She does OnlyFans and online content as well. So how are you gonna talk about what a high-valued man should do and work when you do this as a woman? This question about OnlyFans. Um, do you think men shouldn't take you serious if you have one Ugh. it's hard to be okay <laughs> with another man appreciating your woman in that intimate way that you appreciate them so mm -hmm. i can understand where a man would be not okay with it however my job doesn't make me who i am it's Absolutely. what i do for money right like you know what i mean just because i'm selling my body online and like doing this to make money at the same time like that's what fucking football players are doing they're getting hurt they're getting injured they're, they're selling their body that for entertainment is... it's not traditional it's 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 socially acceptable now but it's still becoming more acceptable as time progresses but at the same time like i said my job doesn't make me who i am i'm still a good woman regardless of what you see me doing yeah. online i'm still gonna cook i'm still gonna clean i'm gonna fuck i'm gonna i'm i can be respectable with your parents we can talk about religion we can talk about politics like i'm not dumb like it's a it's a lot to it my job <laughs> right. doesn't make me a certain type of way absolutely. and i feel like stereotypes are too attached to the sex industry absolutely and things get misconstrued a lot people just think we are just big fucking dummies like yeah, we're like demons or something you can, like, think we're evil but this is what these only fans women decide to say as an excuse so they can simply keep doing whatever they want to do guys doing only fans and making adult content online is no different than selling drugs it completely affects your character and completely affects who you are as a person would you ever get shitted on for a hundred thousand dollars uh oh yeah i've done it for less <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> For sure. How what? What was it? What was the amount? Oh God! I mean, maybe, like five thousand? No, like maybe five hundred. Huh? It happened a few times. It's gross. It's gross. I don't like it. I'm not for it. It's disgusting. Actually, I was high for sure. I was definitely high on something. <laughs> it's wild though. It's nasty. <laughs> Now, after hearing this clip, you cannot convince me that doing OnlyFans and doing this kind of stuff for a living doesn't affect who you are as a person. Clearly, if someone is willing to do this for $500, they have no self-respect since all they care about is money. I did have sex with my stepbrother. Um, he has since passed away. He um, Sorry. killed himself. R.I.P. He was a very sweet boy. I had sex with a boy who I was told after I had sex with him that he could potentially be my brother. But, and what, I hate to say it, but like, ah, uh, because he was my stepbrother after, but he had a really perfect penis. I used to jerk off dogs a lot. And jerked off tons babe, of dogs, babe. yeah. Come on, man. No, at this point, I have no idea what to say. This is obviously disgusting. This woman needs to get off the podcast and she is just talking too much. If I'm not mistaken, this is also illegal in some states, but let me know in the comments. Yeah, you'll probably never see her face on my channel ever again. People ask me all the time, Maddie, what is it like dating with an OF? Let me show you. It's really pleasant and amazing. I don't know. You seem small. Can you handle a big blank? And a few days later, I said, ew, because I was still in shock. His reply, LOL, I don't normally talk like that, but I've seen your videos. Did you expect me to treat you like a lady after watching this? So because of my account, I no longer get any respect for you, but you still want to smash. 
but you're gonna be mean to me. Also, you really think that that message was gonna get me to come over? That? What? I mean, also, what did you expect was gonna happen once everybody finds out you do adult content? If you were advertising yourself as an object, people are just gonna treat you as an object. Especially when they know you're just doing this for money. You're literally just some kind of product to them. For my wife for 12 years, been married for five. Last Ooh. week, my wife asked me to use my phone as her phone was in the shop, which she was going to pick up later on. Next day, I'm at work. I go into my Instagram, but she must have logged in using my phone and stayed in. She's logged into his Instagram. Her. Into her. Oh, so okay. She's yeah. into her so he's got Instagram. access to her Instagram. Instagram. Okay, okay. She's still on with you. Okay. I'm not really one to pry because I trust my wife. Mm hmm. But I saw a message a back and forth of a guy. The guy asks her, How have you been? Should we see each other? She responds, Ooh. No, I don't think that would be good because my husband wouldn't like it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Good. good. The last three lines get me and I don't know what to do. He says he is a lucky man. I can't believe I messed up. You will always be the love of my life. She responds, Same. What do I do? Oh, oh, let me tell you something. Yeah, I don't care. That's a complete divorce in my opinion. Cheating to me isn't something physical and they don't need to do anything in person physically. The moment she decides to share her emotions like this, their relationship is completely over because she has no more love for me anyway. So why am I with her? I was in prison for two years. It depends if I was the reason that you was in there. <laughs> you know, every way there. Whether she's in jail or not, I'm beating things in it. But if she goes to jail, I'm beating even more. Well, I'm off. Like, don't get me wrong, I'll be with you all the way up until court and that. But then once they send you down, you know what I mean? I'm walking away. <laughs> Yeah, I can't lie, this guy does have a point. We have no idea why that girl went to prison, and it depends on that case. However, insane charges to get life in prison, you best believe I'm leaving. Having a hot girl summer. What does it mean when a woman says that? She's horny. <laughs> okay. I'm a born again virgin. That's. <laughs> the past doesn't matter. I'm ready to be serious now. She's a. <laughs> okay. I like this job. The next one is boundaries are toxic in a relationship. Why well, like she saying around? <laughs> but I don't want you to find out. I'm celibate now. What does that mean? She's all. <laughs> now you can definitely tell this guy has been around the block a few times and has a ton of experience. We should definitely take what he says as a lesson. Woman boy, cause I've been the guy they've been cheating with for a long time. They cheat with people who they know ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that quiet dude. Man, listen here. People think it's the guy with the money. Man. Mm -mm. This that dude, you won't be even believe getting it. Yeah, he's 100% right. These kind of dudes will take this to the grave and let nobody find out. <laughs> this girl acting crazy, man. What the fuck is you doing? Open the door. Bitch. Is that the door? I bet it's Open crazy. Open the fucking door. Right now, yeah. Okay. I'm not. Oh, she, oh, she just threw water all over. She wilding. I'm not opening this motherfucking door. This bitch been crazy. Look at this bitch, bro. This bitch. This crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I will never understand how some people can get so mad at someone cheating on them when they cheated first. Like, you still have feelings for this person even though you're constantly cheating on them. And you're still hurt by the fact that they even cheated on you. Their relationship has been over. What do they expect? 15 minutes with me. What would you do? I would have you buy me a PS5 because I know you do only fans and you got money for it, so... I doubt it. Little does he know that OnlyFans women barely make any money. Like 99% of them are actually broke. All right, this is date number 3,726. I'm out of breath. I'm late. But two minutes, it's okay. And look, we know how this is going to go. I'll probably never see him again. But this one is actually Irish, so... Let's see. Yeah, this woman just simply hit the wall and she realized that her age, men just don't take her seriously anymore. And I switched to OnlyFans is, honestly, it was meant to just be not, I needed to raise $100,000 okay. to send to the Lebanese Red Cross after the Beirut blast. And I thought OnlyFans, mm. everyone's on OnlyFans. It'll be the best way to make money. And then I got shit for using money I made off OnlyFans to donate to the Lebanese Red Cross. People were like, how dare you send this dirty whore money to Lebanon? We don't need this. Like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> 
So you, it's like you can't spam. do anything. You don't have, you're not in a position to pick and choose where the money is coming from. Does she just completely lie? She said she started OnlyFans so she can raise money for Lebanon. However, she still continues to do OnlyFans. So how does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna go in and shop, and you need time to. Got him. Well, that does wrap it up for you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click these guys at the top of the screen. It does not much and all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.